Trading 100 Celebration Firework Launchers in Adopt Me. This is a brand new item that costs you 60 Robux each and it goes and releases a firework. So I decided to buy 100 of them to see what type of offers we would get in Adopt Me. Also, I'm giving some away for free to people who comment on this video. So make sure you like this video and subscribe. This is the first trade request and I'm going to accept whatever they go and offer me because it's the first trade. And that's actually pretty Pretty decent to be fair. So let's hit accept and get our first legendary and trade away our first celebration firework launcher. These items are ultra rare and only time limited. A gingerbread hair, water moon bear, scarecrow cat and two Christmas future eggs. Now, because they've gone and put a gingerbread hair in and I really had terrible luck going and opening these, I'm going to accept it. Not sure if this is a win, fair or a loss, considering I did literally get three legendaries for one a second ago, but we're gonna go and hit confirm on this trade. A Ride Fleur de Ice. This is a legendary, it costs so much gingerbread, and they even put a ride potion on it. Considering a ride potion costs more Robux than a firework launcher, that is definitely a win. A magma snail, a sloth. Sloth is a Robux pet, so it's always good to see a Robux pet in the mix. Oh wait, and a neon bunny? I mean, sure. Considering there's a Robux pet, which costs more Robux than the launcher, I'm gonna hit accept. Plus a magma snail is a pretty decent pet and hard to come across. A ride salamander and a neon wolpertinga. Honestly, no clue about the values of these pets. Completely forgot what egg the salamander even comes from, but it's an ultra rare with a ride potion on it and then a Wolpertinga, which is a Neon, and there we go. Ooh, the Gingerbread Mouse. Whoa, they added four Gingerbread Mice and a bunch of Nutcracker Squirrels, 100%. I am accepting this offer instantly. Okay, because I made so many alt accounts trying to get so many Gingerbread Mice, and it just takes so long. Like the amount of time of making a new account, going and getting a trading license, joining the same server, it is very time consuming. So uh, gingerbread mouse, four of them, I'm gonna take it. Plus also we're getting four nutcracker squirrels, which is enough to make a neon one. So that was definitely a win for me. Okay, whoa, these are the legendary vehicles. Okay, what? A royal crown carriage and a rose petal carriage. Then they added three scarecrow, four scarecrow cats. They're definitely gonna hit decline. I'm not sure if this is a flex, if they're trying to offer for something else. They said, hi, why are they still adding? I'm so confused. They're definitely gonna take these away, right? They're gonna take away the legendary vehicles. There's an ostrich in here and a pterodactyl. I can't imagine they're gonna hit accept on this. If they hit accept on this, then that is insane because I have no clue what these vehicles are or how you got them. Like, did these vehicles cost Robux? I don't know. And an ostrich, preteen. This, this is such a crazy set of pets and vehicles. I'm pretty sure they're gonna hit decline. Oh my what they accepted. I don't think I had either of those vehicles. A neon stingray. This is from an old egg and they've also put in an egg nog dog which you get out of the Christmas future egg. There is an eggnog hair. I forgot that they added both types of eggnogs. And also a random Canada goose. I think the only thing that's selling me on this is a neon from an old egg. I'm definitely gonna reach the point where I have traded the whole server and everyone's gonna have a firework launcher. Whoa, a neon metal ox. Yeah, um, what for this? How about three firework launchers? They said they're going to do it. I have no idea if they will. Three firework launchers for a neon metal ox. Now bear in mind that the metal ox is one of the most hated pets in Adopt Me, but I have never owned a neon one. So if they accept this, that's great. That is gonna be my first ever neon metal ox. A ride frog. Okay, I mean, it's not the best pet, but it's cool. And a Christmas future egg. Considering I have to literally trade 100 of these, I'm going to accept so many random trades where I'm probably under or I'm over. I have no idea. A Zodiac Minion Egg. Whoa, a Space Whale. Now that is very valuable. 
and also a rat. Very random pet, but oh, they're still adding. I was about to hit accept. They're still adding stuff. Some Arctic heads. Let's go. I'm surprised people just still add. All right, that's that's pretty decent. I'm gonna accept it. I probably would have accepted it if it was just the Zodiac minion egg since that is a legendary and we just have to wait for the 10 second countdown and we can see all these crazy reactions but considering there is a space whale which is such a crazy pet and very hard to go and get your hands on that's actually probably a pretty big win a ride bee a ride frog oh that one's full grown a ride horse a ride koala and a neon ride luna ox that is five pets with a ride potion on it, that is kind of crazy. I'm gonna hit accept on that. If they do, then that is insane. So many ride pets. I'm pretty sure the horse cost Robux, and you can't even go and purchase it anymore. I'm pretty sure it got removed. A green butterfly, which is a legendary preteen, and a black chow chow. Both of these are Robux pets. Pretty difficult pets to go and get your hands on. So let's hit confirm two legendary pets for this. That is definitely a win. A happy clam. Do I have that pet? Honestly, I don't even know. Let me Google this. Okay, I do have a happy clam. Honestly, I don't know where that even came from. I'm gonna hit accept as I know the royal corgi is a difficult pet to go and get. And also this happy clam, honestly, I can't even remember that thing even existing in Adopt Me. Plus a ladybug is a Robux pet and the gingerbread reindeer is a very cool pet that I'm trying to make into a mega. So I was happy to take that. I guess you can call me a happy clam. Someone let me know where the happy clam comes from, please. Zodiac minion chicks. Let's go. Two of those and a fly full grown bunny very strange thing to put a fly potion on but people do it honestly it still confuses me why people put like fly or ride potions on like uh, common pets but they very much do and we just secured ourselves two more legendaries a black chow chow a full-grown lynx which is a pretty old pet and it's got a ride potion on it, so that might be useful for making a neon and also a ride bat. So let's hit confirm. I am intrigued about the links. I'm not sure what that's worth. Whoa, a ride Baku legendary and an alley corn and an eggnog hat. People are going crazy in this server, probably because it is the richest server possible. When I was just in a regular server, the offers that I was getting was just like cats and dogs and ultra res. But now I joined like this crazy rich server. We are actually getting offers that are good. A T-Rex, are you kidding me? This is such a valuable pet. A preteen T-Rex, no way they're hitting accept on this. Oh my word, they hit accept. Insane, that is such a good trade, bro. I'm going to have so many legendaries by the end of this. I mean, I did spend so much Robux going and buying all of these, so I should kind of expect to get some good trades since each of these is like 60 cents each. A fly ride ancient dragon. No way in the world they're going and offering me that for a celebration firework launcher. Not a chance, right? Surely, and an imagination box. I'm gonna hit accept just in case they do. They said they're a huge fan, oh my word. A fly potion is 300 Robux, right? And a ride potion is 150. This thing cost me 60 Robux. This is the infinite get rich scheme in Adopt Me. All you need to do to get rich is buy one of these and trip. Oh, yeah, bro. This is a flex. This has got to be a flex. They're going to say, do I have an offer, I think, because there is no way they're offering for this. I thought this trade was going to go really badly until I saw that they added a hoverboard and an axle. I'm not sure where the axle comes from, but that is two legendary vehicles plus an ash zebra, which is pretty decent to go and get your hands on and like five harp seals. Some of these are aged. I guess they were maybe trying to go and age these up to make a neon one. I'm not too sure. I still have so many of these. Whoa, a fool's egg. Yes, please. I think most people know that this is like one of my favorite eggs. A neon arctic hair. Okay, they're definitely gonna ask me to add, right? They're not offering me all of this for one 
celebration launch yet. There is no way. Why are they still adding? They're definitely gonna ask me to like add, right? I'm gonna hit accept and if they accept, oh my god, they actually accepted. They're 100% hitting decline on the second part of the trade. As a neon arctic head, this pet literally just came out. Plus a fool's egg. That is a very cool egg. I don't think they're gonna accept this, but I'm gonna- Oh, they did! Let's go! That's very cool. I'm happy about that trade, to be fair. We have so many good trades already from trading these. I had no clue people would like these as much as they do. But I guess it's a 60 Robux item. Not many people have Robux. And this is also going to be a limited time item. So I'm pretty sure after... Um, a certain amount of time you won't be able to purchase the firework launcher. A ride ladybug. I know I've got so many better trades than this earlier, but it's a ladybug. It's a Robux pet and it does have a ride potion on it. So I will go and accept this. Two metal oxes. I'm gonna take it. Two legendaries is better than going and getting nothing. I know it's hated, but two legendaries for a 60 Robux item is probably a win. They did end up swapping it out for a Neon Ride Tarsia, which is, I don't know, probably a bit more fair. I don't know what's more valuable, a Neon Ride Tarsia or a Metal Ox. A full-grown ride chicken by Faded Pigeon. I don't think they want to trade their chicken for my, my firework launcher. Oh my word, they hit accept. No way. No way, I'm gonna close my eyes and hit accept, and if they hit accept, then it's the craziest win we've ever got. Did that just happen? Did they... Did they accept that? Oh my god, I have a ride chicken. What in the world just happened? I feel like every other trade is gonna look so terrible in comparison, considering I just... I traded it for a ride chicken. I don't think you guys understand how valuable a ride chicken actually is. Like, that is so very valuable. Oh, some eggnog dogs. Yeah, I need a bunch of these eggnog dogs. So considering there is three eggnog dogs in here, I will go and accept it. Three eggnog dogs plus a spider crab with a ride potion on it. Let's go and hit confirm. A teen kitsune, a ride potion. What? They're not doing that. That is, that is silly. No way. Why would you offer that? They want me to shout out subscribe to cookie cutter. Yes. This person is insane. Um, shout out to them. That is crazy. Mobile legend. No way you're accepting this. And their shout out was to subscribe to me. Everyone, you should subscribe right now. They literally said that you should do it. So I think we should all agree that you should go and do it. This is such a random arrangement of pets that I'm not sure it's worth it. Oh! They did put a train in it and a hovercraft. I'm not sure I actually own a hovercraft. Plus a train is actually pretty valuable. If you don't know much about your vehicles in Adopt.me, a train is a relatively old legendary vehicle to go and get. So that's pretty decent as it's been non-obtainable for a pretty long time now. So if they hit accept, then that's probably a win. A legendary candy hat? No way they're trading me for this. I spent so long trying to go and get one of these. I opened 40 boxes and only got two of them. So that's actually really, really good. I wanted so many of those and I had such bad luck in my opening where I went and got them. So that's actually amazing to go and get another one of those. A mega buffalo? No chance they are accepting this. <laughs> they said hi to everyone. I doubt they're gonna hit accept. This is- oh my word. No way. No, 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 no. I'm hitting- oh my word, what? Dino Nuggets, are you okay? Thank you very much, Mr. Dino Nugget. That is literally insane. A mega neon? Wow. This is the Peppermint Penguin, one of the brand new Robux pets, and they want to go and offer it for one firework launcher. Considering this costs so much more Robux, um, I'm gonna hit accept. There is no way they should go and get that for one, considering you literally spend, what, how much? 490. So, um, yeah, that's definitely interesting that they wanted to trade it for just one 
firework launcher. So they ended up offering me a bunch of different vehicles. And I'm pretty sure this was the person who gave me a mega neon earlier. So we're going to go and give them four celebration firework launchers. We are going and getting some pretty cool vehicles. I don't think any of these are extremely valuable. Probably the ice queen sleigh is the rarest since it's old and it's a pretty cool looking vehicle. The husky sled, I'm not sure how you got that to be fair. A unicorn zombie pony cycle. Honestly, I have no idea what that is. It's definitely a funny sounding vehicle. And a neon bunny. I'm just gonna hit accept because I don't think I have that. And so far, I have been trading for over an hour. Now, last video, I said I've been trading for an hour, and you guys didn't believe me. It's because I only feature the trades that I actually accept or I think are good in the video. If I was to go and show you every single second of waiting for a trade or getting trades which I thought were absolutely terrible, then the video would simply be two hours long and no one would watch it. Which is why these videos do actually take hours to film and then I have to edit them down. A kitsune and a wrapped doll. Now that is actually such a fun offer. A wrapped doll is definitely interesting. I don't have any of those. Definitely a collector's item because most people when they purchased the doll went and unwrapped it instantly. So having a wrapped up one is definitely going to increase in value in the future if they go and accept it, which I don't think they will. Oh, and they did. That's actually pretty decent. An Axolotl, Dragonfly, and a Scarecrow Crow. Two Legendaries and an Ultra Rare. And wait, the Axolotl was like 600 Robux or something insane. That's such a big win if they accept it. And they did. Let's go. You can't buy those axolotls anymore. A fossil egg. Honestly, I don't know too much about egg values. I have a bunch of fossil eggs from when they came out. But I think that's maybe a fun trade. A right dodo. Yeah, no way they're offering me that for a firework launcher. They're definitely going to ask for like a frost dragon or something. They've added such a large arrangement of rare pets. So I'm going to go and add a couple more to go and make this a bit more fair. I wasn't going to go and accept that for just one. So we're getting a hair box, a ride dodo, a fly ride Indian leopard, and they declined it. Hot cocoa stand and a neon crab. Considering the hot cocoa stand is about 80 Robux, these cost 60 Robux. This is probably a pretty fair trade, to be fair. So we're just going to go and accept this. We're also getting a neon crab. A newborn fleur de ice, I'll take it. A lunar moon bear, a random wolf, but that is an old rare pet to be fair. And also a Christmas future egg. And then two alley cats, I'll take it because they added a Christmas egg and I do like these. Plus a lunar moon bear is pretty cool. It's also a teen, so we are getting a legendary pet for this. So let's go and hit confirm. Oh, this is a nice selection. A magma snail is a valuable one. And we're also getting a gingerbread hair. And as I said earlier, my luck of getting the gingerbread hairs were absolutely terrible. So I'll happily go and take a few gingerbread hairs. A glider. This used to be my favorite vehicle inside of Adopt.me. And it also costs Robux. And I'm pretty sure you can't go and purchase that anymore. They also added a gingerbread mouse and a Christmas future egg and also the eggnog dog. But it seems that they're also adding more. So I'm going to hit accept on this. The glide is actually pretty decent. It used to be my favorite vehicle to travel everywhere. Plus, considering they added a gingerbread mouse and also that egg, it definitely sold me on the trade. An octopus. No way. They are trading that for this. I'm going to hit accept. An octopus, no potion. It's also a teen. This is an old, rare, legendary pet to get your hands on. And yeah, they actually went through and followed with that trade. A Ride King Penguin. This is a Robux pet. This is the newer variation. Robux potion on a Robux pet. I'm going to say that's a pretty fair trade. And it was a success. A Luna Gold Tiger, and it's also aged up a little amount. So I'm going to say that's pretty decent. Someone also offered me another ride penguin. Since I literally just accepted this trade, I'm going to do it again. Plus, I still have so many of these to go and trade, which is insane. A T Rex, a Neon Camel, a Neon Ant, and a Neon Ground Sloth. I'm not sure why they have added. Uh, whoa, they hit accept. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 that's also luminous. 
What? No way. No way they're going to follow through with this trade. I'm going to hit accept. I don't think they will. <gasps> they did. Let's go. That's a good trade. Oh, a Christmas pudding pup is in there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I need more of these pets. Definitely going to be a difficult pet to go and get since you had to log in every day for 20 out of 25 days. And I'd love to make a neon Christmas pudding pup eventually. So that's actually really good. A ride koala. That's definitely an interesting one. Koalas are pretty old pets now coming out of the Aussie egg. It's an ultra rare. This is aged up as 18 and it does contain a ride potion on it. So we're going to go and accept that trade. A minion chick and also a witch's caravan, which I'm pretty sure you get from the star login reward. So let me know if that one is correct. But let's go and hit confirm on this as we're also getting a zodiac minion chick. Oh, another Christmas pudding pup. Let's go. And a gingerbread. And a gingerbread hair as well. That's actually really good. So happy with that trade. I want to get more of these Christmas pudding pups. I feel like it's going to be such an underrated pet until the future when everyone realizes how cool of a pet this is. Because it has all of these like special particle effects and it like glows as if it's set on fire. Which is honestly just such a cool pet. This one is a golden griffin and a danger egg. It intrigues me how long the countdown is, as I'm pretty sure every single time it's a different countdown. A zodiac minion chick and a Japan egg and let's see, six second countdown. Now the one before I had like a 12 second countdown, which is so strange how they decide. Ooh, a white Amazon, okay. And a Halloween blue scorpion. A pet that you don't really see that often. Yeah, again, six second countdown. Honestly, not too sure how the system works yet. But let's confirm. That's a pet that I don't really see too often. A newborn lunar moon bear. I'm not sure how many I have of these, but again, this is statistically one of the most hated pets in Adopt Me, which is a shame. This person offered me a neon mecha meow for five launches. I'm not sure if that's a good deal, but... Um, I'm gonna hit accept and see if they will so these are 60 robux each and yeah That's probably pretty decent if they do accept this. So yeah, this is a 12 second countdown I guess when the pet is like neon or involves higher tier pets It then goes and takes a longer countdown, but a neon mecha meow definitely gonna get some pretty Good trades for that in the future if they were to go and accept this and they actually did. Yeah, pretty cool. This person wants to do offer for two. They've added a Chimera, a Golden Griffin, a Candy Camper, a Rocket Racer, a Gingerbread Stunt Plane, and also a Wizard's Caravan. I'm going to accept this since we've got a Legendary here. And then there's two other Legendaries, including a Golden Griffin. And then there's these ads, which are pretty cool. I know this is from the Advent Calendar, the Candy Camper. But it's still an ultra rare vehicle, which is pretty cool. So let's hit confirm on this and we do get ourselves a chimera as well, which is a cool pet. I believe Halloween. Whoa, that's a good trade. Okay, three legendaries. Are they are they sure about that? That's actually pretty good if they do accept this. I'm gonna be shocked. Because two ancient dragons and an alicorn. Let's go. That's actually really, really good. I will happily take that. I said I needed more of these Christmas pudding pups. So I'm going to offer one for one. Not really sure what the true value of this pet is. But it's definitely a cool looking pet. Like if we equip it right now. You can see that it kind of like smokes. And has this fun effect. They just offered a mega neon dog. Honestly, I got no clue what they want for this. They just said that, so I added another one, and they said thank you so much. Honestly, I got no clue what the value of a Mega Neon Dog is, guys. I know it's, like, not that hard to get. It's a common pet. It's a uh, Mega Neon, so we're going to offer them two, but that's kind of crazy, to be fair, still. Like, the amount of time that goes into making a Mega Neon is crazy. Whoa, a Baku and a Ride Cerberus. Are they going to ask for ads? For one, are you crazy? That's got a ride potion on it. No way. Let's see if they will actually follow through with this trade. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Two legendaries, one with a ride potion on it. That is insane. If they go and accept they did. Wow. I really am in a rich server. If you guys want like good trades, honestly, 
just join a rich trading server and you will go and get whatever you want and you might even go and get overpays if someone is specifically wants your pets. Whoa, now this one's actually a really impressive trade. A Neon Nightmare Owl. This is a really cool pet, one of the coolest neons to exist. Came out recently and it's an ultra rare. An ultra rare neon that is an event pet is actually a really good pet to get your hands on. Especially considering that that pet was extremely expensive when it originally came out. Turns out that somebody wanted to go and do a trade back and honestly if anyone ever feels like they want to go and do a trade back I will always go and do it as I don't want people feeling bad so that's why I'm now ending back up with uh, five more firework launches I guess. I know scooters are really rare and valuable but honestly I don't know much about them. So if this person was to go and accept this I'll probably accept because it's a scooter and I know it's rare. But I have absolutely no idea when this scooter came out, what it's actually worth, because I don't really collect scooters, but I know I don't have this one, and it's an item that I don't really see that often. So I'm going to hit accept. Honestly, no idea. If you know anything about that, let me know. What in the world is this offer? That is a werewolf worth 600 Robux. 15 second countdown. Um, no way they're accepting this. This has to be a troll. This has to be. That is such an expensive pet, surely. Surely they are not going to accept. Oh my, wow, they hit accept on that. I'm gonna give that away to a fan or something. I've got to give that away for free because that it was that was such an overpay. So I'm just gonna give back to the community and give away a bunch of these pets completely for free. Whoa, a legendary preteen ride dire stag and a magma moose. Um, is that okay? Yeah, 100%. That is such a good trade. The Magma Moose even has a Ride Potion on it, which is a big win already. Like, just a Ride Magma Moose would have been good, but they added a Dire Stag also. Two Gingerbread Hairs, which I always struggled with. A Rock, a Frog, a Metal Ox, a Witch's Caravan, and a Plate of Food Disc. I don't think I have ever seen that item before, so let's just hit Accept. I, um, I assume that's a toy. And we found ourselves another Christmas pudding pub. I will literally try to get enough of these to make a mega neon of this pet. Ooh, I think this is a very rare old pet. I'm not sure what they're going to say they want for it. Because I'm assuming, oh wow, 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 wow. Do they know that this is old and rare? It's also got a rise potion on it, a drake. That's really old, right? That's such a big win if they, they accepted it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's an old valuable pet. I think that definitely has a good value to it. I'm not 100% sure on the value of that pet, but I know it's actually really good. No way they're offering me a ride potion. Are they going to say that this is for multiple? Because that's obviously a lot more Robux. So I'm not sure why they would go and do this trade. Would this be good? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good for me. Obviously, you can buy a ride potion at any time. Maybe they've had it in their inventory or maybe they traded for it and then they want to trade for a, a launcher, but that's pretty decent. Ooh, a Junior Scarecrow Crow. We haven't actually got any of those today. Definitely a nice pet, underrated. Not many people have it. Plus, this is a Junior and I am uh, going to try and make a Mega Neon of this eventually. So, having aged up once is definitely pretty handy. Three Christmas future eggs. I need to have so many of these eggs. I feel like they would be pretty good to go and get in the future. I mean, that's why it's called the Christmas future egg, right? So, let's go and accept this. See if we go and get some Christmas future eggs. And there we go. Ooh, two bees, a brown-chested pheasant. I actually thought all of the pheasants were legendaries. I didn't realize that one of them was an ultra rare and also a corgi. Pretty decent, three Robux pets at the top and a corgi, which I'm pretty sure is time limited unless this, this is the one that you hatch out of an egg. There are so many pets to remember what and where it came from. This is my friend Lisa, and they actually have uh, most Mega Neons that I think possibly existed at me. They've got a Mega Neon Bad Dragon here, a Mega Neon Shadow Dragon, a Mega Neon Frost, another Mega Neon Frost, also another Mega Neon Frost, and another Mega Neon, and a, another Mega Neon Frost. 
Um, so yeah, I just wanted to see if they had an offer and uh, I tried to trade them and it seems that of course they already have this. I mean, who wouldn't? If you have that many Mega Neon Frost Dragons, I guess uh, you don't need to go and get one of these because you're probably like the richest player in the game already so i guess you probably already got one of these so yeah i guess they don't want one and i'll continue trading somewhere else a green chested pheasant i think that's a pretty good one so there's like three different versions and i think this is like the second rarest one actually there might even be four variations of a pheasant to be honest there is uh, there's a lot of them and I can't remember, so I'll take it though. A teen scarecrow crow. Let's go and hit accept and hopefully we can get this. All right, it seems they accepted on the first half of the trade will they follow through. A teen scarecrow crow. We've definitely had crows earlier plus ads. And there we go, we got it. Oh, this is good. An ice moth dragon and a billy goat. Two legendaries that I don't get that often. That's actually pretty decent. Metal ox and a zodiac minion egg. I like the fact that the egg isn't hatched. That definitely adds a bit more value. Since the hatched ones have less of a demand compared to going and getting an egg. Only because most people hatch their egg, which is why just the egg is rarer than the actual pet. In the same way that a safari egg might be rarer than some of the pets out of the safari egg. A billy goat and a magma snail. That's a big win. Magma snail plus a lovely billy goat and it's both newborn. Pretty decent to go and get. I will happily go and confirm that trade. I also traded a celebration firework launcher for a bunch of retired eggs. So that is the next trade. And then I went and did it for more retired eggs, not as many as the last one. And then I did it again. And then I also did it again. You see, I traded this for the remaining firework launchers to go and get a bunch of retired eggs. As you can see, I literally did this many, many times to make it all the way up to 100 trades of the firework launcher. Why do I need so many retired eggs, you might question. Well, in a video coming soon, I'm going to open 100 of them. So make sure you subscribe with notifications to see when that video releases. Click here to watch the Adopt Me Obby that gives you free dream pets. I think you'll like this video. Click here right now to watch.